Hi, welcome to my classroom. I'm Miss Goforward. I teach high school math here at Baldwin. I've got a quick little PowerPoint I want to share with you guys, so give me a minute to share my screen and we'll get started. Okay, so like I said, I'm Miss Goforth. I teach high school math. I teach Algebra 1, Algebra 1A, and Math for College Readiness. Today we're going to be talking about Algebra 1. Algebra 1 is designed to help prepare students for Algebra 1. We kind of build those Algebra foundations. We start with foundations of Algebra, solving equations, solving inequalities. We have a little intro to functions. Then we work on linear functions, systems of equations and inequalities, and then rational exponents and radicals. And then we review for our district exam. So how to contact me? The best way to contact me is by email. Go forth, see at duvalschools.org. Or you can reach me on my school voicemail at 904 Four five five zero zero nine one. Now this is just a voicemail as I can't answer the phone in the middle of the day while I am teaching classes. So how does your student turn in work? Well, now that we are back to brick and mortar for some students, they would turn their work in in person. Each class has a designated bin. They're color coded by class period and your students should know which bin they turn their work into. They also can upload it into focus if they would prefer or if they're ever absent, they can always upload their work into focus. For my online, my Duval homeroom kids, you're going to upload your student would upload their assignment through focus or through their respective online platforms. If we ever use Khan Academy, Algebra Nation, formative or forms. We are not going to have any submission of work through teams on the assignment tab. So at the top of the teams where it says assignments, we are not going to be using that tab. So my grading policy, 90 to 100 is an A, 80 to 89 is a B, 70 to 79 is a C, 60 to 69 is a D, and 50 to 0 is an F. I do have a weighted grade book with exams making up 35%, quizzes making up 10%, warm ups 10%, exit slips at 20%, and then classwork, online, and homework are kind of all grouped together. They make up 20%, and then participation is worth 5%. Late work can be turned in for partial credit and will be graded at 20% off the original grade. So if an assignment is turned in late, whatever score they get is then going to lose 20%. But assignments that are not turned in will receive a zero. So an 80 or any number is better than a zero. So make up directions. If your student is ever absent, it is their responsibility to reach out to me after school receive any missed assignments. They must then make arrangements with me to make up the work. All of the assignments can also be found in our class notebook, which I've shown them where it is. Um, I'm also going to show you guys a slide a little bit later, kind of talking about our class notebook a little, but all assignments, all notes, all warm ups, they are all available in our class notebook, which is on our team's page. So attendance, now that we are back to five days a week brick and mortar. Attendance is based on being present in the classroom, you in your seat, the student in their seat. Baldwin homeroom, there's that assignment tab at the top of the team. That's where they would log in and put in their attendance. They would also then need to join the live meeting. You need to be both to be marked present. If you're absent, you'll need to check the class notebook for any missing assignments or notes, complete the assignment, and reach out to me if you have any questions. So tutoring, I will be having tutoring Wednesdays from 2 to 3.30 online on Teams. This I have made a virtual team that I've added your student to. So Wednesdays online, going to meet virtually there, and then Thursdays in room 123 in person from 2 
to 330. Students do need their own form of transportation. After tutoring. So teams, virtual classes will be held on teams and brick and mortar our students will still have access to our class team, even though we are back in five days a week at Baldwin, your team, students team is still available and their class notebook is going to continue to be updated with any of our assignments and our notes. So here is a screenshot of our team's page up at the top here. We have our fill attendance and this is where your child would go. Open their team, go to general, up here at the top, they may have to click the little drop down menu, but then it would get to attendance, they put their name, if there's any questions they may have, any topic they may want a little more explaining on, they can put it there and then they would hit submit. On our team's page is also where our class notebook is. Under teams, general, up here at the top, where the attendance tab is, there's one called class notebook. They would need to click on the class notebook and then this little arrow here. If you click the arrow, it opens up and it looks like this. On this side here, we have our warm ups. Which are then another tab broken up by a week. You can pick your warm ups per week. Your notes and then your assignments are also going to be listed here for all students. Okay, one website that we have been using and we will continue to use, and I've shared the instructions for joining with your students, but if you go to khanacademy.com slash join, you can then enter the class code. This is the code for first period, third period, and sixth period. You would need the code that corresponds with your class period. If you have an account, if you do not have an account, you would need to create an account. You want to make sure that your student puts their name as their display name so I know who they are. Last year, students could log in to Khan Academy through Clever. This year, Clever will not work for their login. They need to create an account and join our team on Khan Academy. Okay, well, thank you for coming to my virtual open house. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them to me. You've got my email, my voicemail. Thank you guys.